Breaking news from KHON2, happening now. Good evening, everybody. We begin with breaking news tonight. Maui Emergency Management Agency has issued an immediate evacuation notice for some Lahaina residents. Yeah, the agency has issued the notice for the Wahikuli subdivision in Lahaina due to the brush fires. They're also telling people if you are one of those people trying to get out, and the problem is a lot of these people, they don't have electricity, they don't have phone, they don't have cable. Expect conditions that may make driving difficult, dangerous, powerful winds, smoke, all of it creating a dangerous situation again on Maui. That's right. Maui County is now telling everyone do not go into Lahaina Town and for those in harm's way to leave immediately. This as fire rages across parts of the main island and it does sound dash like it's a lot of mayhem happening right now on Maui. Uh, I just got a message from Mahina Martin who's uh, the PIO public information officer. I'm going to see if I can get her to call into our station and do a live interview. Uh, in the meantime these are some of the images we are having a very difficult time getting information because again phone lines on that side of the island are down uh, we're, we're even told that a lot of the hotels that are in Kaanapali uh, are black the electricity is out that's right now we have learned that the fire department is getting assistance from the coast guard according to their twitter account an air crew and a small boat crew from station maui have been deployed to front street beach and lahaina small boat harbor in order to help contain those flames we did speak with an evacuated resident who described it as a disaster zone Definitely the road was catching fire. We drove past a couple of small fires on the way down and a lot of downed trees. So a little bit of a disaster zone, kind of like something from a movie, a lot of smoke. Now, once again, the Maui Emergency Management Agency has issued an immediate evacuation notice for the Wahikuli subdivision in Lahaina due to those fast-moving fires. They do urge that those residents to evacuate family and pets again immediately, head to the northern area of the islands, that is the Kapalua area, and again, be careful because driving conditions could be difficult. Uh, we have calls out to the Coast Guard. We do know that the Coast Guard is also deploying a dolphin helicopter and a ship to Lahaina. So uh, it's pretty much a federal, state, county emergency. All hands are on deck. And so there's Here, a lot going on. That's right. And here's what we do know. The following schools on Maui will be closed tomorrow, August 9th, due to unsafe conditions and damage caused by those heavy winds. Here are the schools. Princess Nahiena Ena Elementary, King Kamehameha III Elementary, Lahaina Intermediate, Lahaina Luna High, King Kaulike High, Kamehameha Schools Maui, and Aapuel Preschool. And once again, these schools will be closed tomorrow. That's Wednesday, August 9th to hear back from Maui County about the damage caused by the fires in Lahaina and upcountry. A shelter is open at the Lahaina Civic Center. We know, again, there are more fires burning on the opposite side of the island. There were evacuations in upcountry Maui as well. Residents there can seek shelter at the Hannibal Tavares Community Center. And we've just learned that the Kihei Community Center is also open as an evacuation shelter. And in addition to the fires on Maui, the high winds have damaged dozens of power lines across the state. More than 12,000 customers in West Maui and about 600 in upcountry are impacted. Hawaiian Electric says residents should prepare for overnight outages. Uh, power is important in both areas because it affects our ability to pump water, uh, to get water to people. So that's also um, while we're asking people to conserve water until we can get power back online and get all of our <clears throat> the water that gets pumped from our reservoirs to our to our homes. There's certainly a lot going on Maui right now, but this is important. Hiko says if you see a downed power line, assume it is energized and dangerous. Please stay at least 30 feet away from them.